everyone across the globe we should be on the way very shortly the players will be with us any time now and our live game is Manchester City against Arsenal well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin thanks Peter it's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here Manchester City go for this lineup. Ederson keeps goal. Ruben Diaz, Laporte, Kyle Walker, Mondi, Rodri, Gundogan, Bernardo Silva, De Bruyne, Mares, Arsenal play away from home. Saliba, Gabriel, White, Zinchenko, Partey, Granit Xhaka, Odegaard. Saka, Martinelli, Gabriel Jesus, tasked with scoring goals. There's the whistle, and here we go. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Gabriel Jesus. He's always going to be a massive threat, Peter. And that's primarily because his movement off the ball is so effective. Even if he doesn't end up touching the ball, he usually plays a part in his team's attacking plays because he's dragged people out of position, and that can be an obvious help to those around him. He's uh, full of enthusiasm. Well, quite no argument from me on that one. Ruben Diaz. And it's Mares. Mares with the ball through. Saliba. Zinchenko. Quarter of an hour played. Well, the fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams. Gabriel Jesus. Out wide to the right. Looks like a good ball through. Bernardo Silva. Decent progress down the left. Bernardo Silva takes a look up. Balls loose. Who's getting there? And it's De Bruyne. Loose ball. Who's going to get there? Attempt, but not quite good enough. Gabriel Jesus. Good defending. He knew he had to stop it right there. De Bruyne. Mares. He slid it through. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Partey. White. Partey. Now the pass. Odegaard passes it through. Timely intervention. Drills one in. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Coaxed out to the wing. Mendy gets into a good position. It's come back out! Goal! City! First blood drawn. 
He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, that's not the best attempt by the keeper, and he's just paid the ultimate price, hasn't he? Manchester City draw first blood here. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Zinchenko. The half-time whistle goes. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Manchester City leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. <laughs> That's the start of another 45 minutes. Manchester City going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Looks to slip it through. Bernardo Silva clears it out of harm's way. And it's Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva delivers. Loose ball. And he's there to hoof it away. And Andes. Jacob goes long and forward. Rodri gets it back. Had a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Tries a through ball. They've done it! Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. 
Hostel and at the equaliser, and we're all square. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. Greenish passes it through. Chance to shoot! It's come loose. He'll have a go. This could fall anywhere. Some are shouting for a corner, but the referee says goal kick. Checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Bernardo Silva tries a long pass towards the front. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Bernardo Silva. Can he put it away? Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. There just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive. I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Manchester City go into the lead. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Hoops it upfield. Looks like a good ball through. Corner given. Massive leap. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Oh, much more than a than a routine save for me, and, and yet he just coped with with room to spare. Silva fires it in low. He's dealt with that well. Manchester City look as though they're about to make a change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. De Bruyne. Manchester City just have to run down the clock. Thrust 
pressed towards the front line. Martinelli. Laporte with the foul. Try from distance. And that will sail harmlessly past. Rodri. Good the one. And it's Grealish. And that's it. Manchester City winners by the odd goal. It really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Look, we saw some textbook football from white areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle. They were simply too good in, in the white areas. And, you know, it was a real risk and reward approach that gave them the crucial advantage. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon to you.